Hey, hey, how are you all doing today? So um, welcome to our new series called Tips for Tuesday. And um, I've been asking people to send me in um, requests on things to do. And one of the things that was requested was a DIY face serum. So that's what we are going to learn how to make today. So um, everybody knows as you get older, you really want to have something to kind of help with wrinkles and just cell regeneration. Um, so that's what these particular oils in this recipe are going to do. Um, we have frankincense which is really great for that. It has um, lots of good cell regenerating properties to it. So that's why we're gonna use that one. Lavender is good um, just to help with like occasional breakouts. So I like to add that one. Um, I wanna say this one, it also has antioxidants in it. So that's really great for the skin too. Then patchouli, I love this on my skin. It makes your skin literally feel like silk. I will actually put this on, um, I just put it in my hand and I will put it on before I do my makeup. I do the face serum at night and it really just depends on what kind of skin you have. You have to play around with it and see. But um, mine is a little more on the oily side. So I like to do my face serum at night before bed. Um, and you can leave it on or you can actually let it sit for a few minutes and then use a, um, a warm washcloth and just lay it on your face and just kind of wipe it off because you're still going to get all those benefits of the oils if you let them sit um, and soak in. So patchouli, like I said, is just really good for the skin. It makes it feel like silk. I want to say this one also said it helps to... Um, maintain oh appearance uh firm skin so we all like that that's great and then ylang ylang this one is a really um, great one for the skin as well and it helps to um, balance the skin um, the oil on the skin so if you have oily skin this is a good one for that it also um, makes the skin smooth so and you can play around some people like to do um elemi is a really um popular one it's spelled e L-E-M-I, I think I'm spelling it right. And I love that one as well. Sometimes I'll put it straight on too with the um, patchouli. But you can kind of play around and see this particular recipe that I'm using here. I love this book. I got this, it's called um, Oil Plus Glass. You can find it on Life Science um, Publishing. It's a really cool recipe book. So um, we're, that's the one we're gonna make today. And it suggests that you can use either rose hip oil as your carrier argon oil um, I like to use sunflower seed oil because like I said my skin is a little more on the oily side so this is a great one if you have drier skin avocado oil is also a really popular one um, as well so I'm gonna do the sunflower so you're just gonna use like a little glass um, bottle like this with a dropper. You can also find some, if you'd rather have like a pump, you can get the ones with pumps as well. This one is two ounces and the recipe calls for one. So I'm just gonna add the oils and then we'll fill it up about half the way. So we will start with our frankincense and you get 10 drops of that. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, a little extra, don't want to waste that, rub it on your skin. Um, and also, the, one of the most important things that somebody taught me about face serum is when you go to put this on, you're going to put it in your hands, rub it together, and you are going to put it up to your nose and just inhale it because the smell is amazing and you're going to be so calm and refreshed. So don't waste it. All right, 10 drops of ylang ylang because these are all really calming oils. I can't talk and count, so that's why I'm being quiet. <laughs> I'll mess it up. All right, like I said, not wasting any oil here. <laughs> I always do that when I, just that's another tip for you. Another tip for Tuesday is when you go to um, put your, like put your oil in the diffuser or whatever it is, dripping it out. A little bit always gets around the side, so just take it and rub it on your wrist and smell that oil. This is also um, one of the bedroom oils, the Lang Lang. Frisky oil. All right, 10 lavender. All right. And eight of patchouli. 
So that's 10 frankincense, 10 ylang-ylang, 10 lavender, and 8 patchouli. Now patchouli is a thicker oil, so it takes a little bit longer for it to come out. I forgot. I thought I was doing ten. Eight. Whoops, we got nine. That's okay. We'll be extra smooth on my face. Okay, so then we are going to add, I'm going to fill this up about half the way because this recipe is for a one ounce. And this bottle is two, I think. So I'm just going to squeeze it in there. Doesn't have to be exact. All right, that's good. Okay, and that is it. Then you're just gonna give it a good shake, and then each time before you use it, I always like to give it a little shake. And then um, you just pinch it up in the little dropper, put it in your hand, and you can kind of see how much you want. Um, like I said, if your face is dry, you might want to do a little bit more. If your face is a little more oily, a little less. Um, and then experiment with using it at night after you wash your face before you go to bed. Maybe taking the warm washcloth and taking it off if you feel you need to. Um, if not, sleep in it. Um, you know, wash your face, put your makeup on in the morning. And some people like to do it um, as their moisturizer or use that and then a moisturizer in the morning. Um, I like the sandalwood moisturizer, so I use this one at night after I wash my face um, and then do the sandalwood before the makeup in the morning. So the other thing we can also do, has a couple different oils I think in it, I'll look and see what recipe I have, is you can do this in a roller bottle um, and it's like an under eye serum. And I think it may have a couple different ones, so we'll maybe do that um, on one of our next Tips for Tuesday videos. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, I can't see a couple people maybe wrote something but it's already gone up. So if you do have questions, um, let me know. Oh no Lisa, you have... Oh, you do have a picture. Oh, but no sound. Oh, gosh. I hope everybody else can hear me. Can you guys hear me? I hope I didn't just do that whole video and you couldn't hear me. <laughs> that would not be good. Um, so, if you have questions, put them in the comments. And then, um, like I said, keep sending me ideas on what you guys want to hear about on Tuesdays. Um, anything healthy, DIY, whatever. All right. Love you guys. Bye.